Well, we have one good thing to look forward to if Joe Biden ends up rigging himself in there at the end of the day. He's not going to interfere in Hunter Biden's investigation. You know, all of the laptop items, all of the dealings with China, and now he's under tax investigation from the Department of Justice or the FBI or the CIA, whatever, it doesn't much matter. At least... Joe Biden is not going to interfere in this matter because he knows that nothing has gone wrong. He just knows that he has an intuition. Let's just say the the fatherly intuition that he would have that his son has done no wrong in this. And uh, he has done so many great things in order to turn his life around. And as we can see here, Democratic presidential nominee Joe Biden will not interfere with the federal investigation into his son. An advisor claimed on Sunday. Joe Biden will not run the White House as a family business. <laughs> oh my God, we can see who he's putting into place. Okay, not right now, not right now. As President Donald Trump has. <sighs> okay, fair enough. Kushner's there, Don Jr.'s there, Ivanka's there. Okay, fair enough. But at least they have legitimate business expertise, but we'll put that aside. Okay, he's not going to, Biden won't install any of his relatives, just everybody who's enriched his relatives for decades. Big distinction. Fair enough. And he will not interfere in decisions made by senior leadership in the Department of Justice. Oh my God. This doesn't read like news. This reads like a late 90s Adam Sandler comedy. This reads like the script of Big Daddy. Senator Chris Coons, oh, this guy sucks so many dicks, a friend and advisor to Biden, of course he is, said on NBC's Meet the Press, speaking of a hypothetical Biden administration. <laughs> As we know, Hunter Biden's under investigation, oh yes, by the U.S. Attorney's Office in Delaware, where Biden has pretty much rigged everybody into the positions that they have there, kind of like how Harry Reid has a overwhelming Democratic machine in Nevada. So I figured nothing's going to come of this anyways, but of course you guys could probably figure that out as well, and you guys know all this information anyways. Republican members of Congress have urged Attorney General Bill Barr, well he's going to have to do it before the 23rd of December, to appoint a special counsel for the pro... <laughs> yeah, he's, he's, he's not doing that. So a potential Biden administration couldn't shut it down before it reaches its conclusion. You think that that would actually fucking matter? Okay, let's just say logistically they couldn't shut down the probe. Trump or Barr puts in whoever to have a special counsel put into place, and then they do their due diligence, even though the FBI has had access to the laptop since 2019, and he's been under investigation, according to the DOJ, for as long. But uh, you know what? It, something would change. Definitely one of those bureaucrats would get in there, and they'd do their damnedest to find out what happened, even though that most of these swamp creatures in the past uh, about weeks time have really started to reveal themselves there is definitely 100 percent of fracturation happening in the republican party it's not just exclusive to the democrats right now to make this perfectly clear there is a trump wing and there is an establishment wing of the republican party right now and as it sits on the democrat side it's not getting as much attention because it's not so obvious right now oh but it will be trust me regardless if biden rigs himself in there or not there is a establishment side of things and there is the socialist side of things and this next four years is going to be wild because it really doesn't matter who ends up winning this contested election at this point there are four parties in the united states right now based on how I've outlined them. And each faction is going to have to figure out who's taking over the Democratic Party, who's taking over the Republican Party, and what the fuck the outliers are going to do. Because all under one big roof, they aren't really going to get together outside of the two establishment wings. Because they've been in power since what? I'd argue since Woodrow Wilson when he installed the Fed and fucked over the nation royally at that point. But Trump has done so many things in the past four years. And I think that uh, exposing the rampant hypocrisy in both parties is one of his greatest accomplishments but back to the point of the article the investigation is critical to defending the integrity of our republic and ensuring a potential biden administration will not be the subject of undue foreign interference republican ken buck oh thank god ken because i'm glad that you still have that boyish optimism that uh so many of just had ripped right from out underneath of them asked whether there needs to be some kind of protection such as a special counsel or retaining the united states attorney in delaware and making it clear publicly that he won't be interfered with coon said that either of these options may work well what a fucking dolt 
The Biden team hasn't responded to requests for comment on the Hunter Biden situation. Oh, contraire. Now, this article is from the 14th, and we got a brand new pipe and hot one on set on the 16th. We have remarks straight from Joe Biden himself. He's confident his son did nothing wrong. So this is going to get memory hold. I hope you guys realize this. There are so many things, all the Obama gate investigations whatever John Durham and Barr were doing in regards to figuring out where all of this Russian interference jargon came from prior to the 2016 election, that is going up in smoke. That is, uh, we know Barr's gone, okay? And Durham is just, what, just going to kick his can down the road even further? And let's just say Biden is slumped over in his chair, putting his, having somebody put his hand on the Bible on the 20th of January. A whole host of new people are coming in and all of this old stuff that might like make the Democrats look bad will just get fucking doused in gasoline and fucking tossed right out. Democratic presidential candidate Joe Biden said on December 16th that he believes his son Hunter did nothing wrong in the first public statement following the revelation that the younger Biden is under federal investigation. Are you confident Hunter Biden did nothing wrong? A uh, weak-kneed reporter asked Biden during the event. I'm confident, Biden said, responded, that what, his hair plugs look natural? That he hasn't shit his pants this morning? I'm glad they asked for a follow-up. Biden has since... Oh, has twice deflected question about his son in recent days, but as soon as they served it up, it's like, oh, we all know Hunter Biden did nothing wrong. You know Hunter Biden did nothing wrong. Are you confident they're going to find they did nothing wrong? I'm confident. Thank you for your time, Mr. Biden. And may I remark just how coherent and forceful your previous remarks were. You truly are an inspiration to this nation. Hunter Biden revealed last week that he learned he was under investigation by the U.S. Attorney's Office in Delaware could not be a more sympathetic office in the land. He said the probe dealt with his tax affairs. Which ones are those? Exactly, the one with China. I take this matter very seriously, but I am confident that a professional and objective review of these matters will demonstrate that I handled my affairs legally and appropriately, <laughs> including the benefit of professional tax advisors. Oh my lord. Oh, to have a rich and powerful family oh oh my god you can literally just get away with murder it was like that kid who what was it involved in the hit and run and then he got off because he said that he didn't know any better and that's what the judge was claiming because he grew up in a rich and powerful family i just kind of immediately came to mind but that's such a hilarious thing for somebody who's been in such an insular bubble for so long Oh, and Joe Biden also had comment on this. He is deeply proud of his son who has fought through the difficult challenges, including a vicious personal attacks in recent months, only to emerge stronger, you know, man. And like we've seen, there was no follow-up question when Joe Biden was actually pressed for this. And uh, it's something that we all knew was coming because we've seen all of the media clash just start to pump out the fucking fluff pieces. We've seen them start to already, well, they carried Joe Biden across the finish line. I don't think that's up for debate at this point. But now you can already see it preemptively happening with Hunter Biden. I give you Vanity Fair. They were writing scathing articles about Jared Kushner. They were the ones that leaked all of those quotes from anonymous sources close to the White House that the Lincoln Project ran with and put up on billboards in New York City. But of course, December 16th, Emily Kirkpatrick. Hunter Biden prepares for his first solo art show amid ongoing Department of Justice investigation. The president-elect's son revealed earlier this year that painting is literally keeping me sane. That and trying to figure out how many Skittles he can fit on his dick. Hunter Biden now has not only a Department of Justice investigation into his taxes to contend with, but his first solo art show to prepare for next year. Fucking Christ. Can you believe this shit? Actually, you know what? Probably can because you guys remember... Not that long ago, four short years ago, when puff piece after puff piece after puff piece about Barack Obama and Michelle Obama keep coming out, never once mentioning the fact that this dude right here would fucking drone strike weddings left, right, and center, who would kick kids back across that border like nobody's fucking business, would sell arms to Mexicans in order to make sure that the cartel stayed in charge would drop off pallets full of money in Iran in order to get hostages back. But no, just Michelle and Barack Obama being adorable, as you can see here. 
Such hard-hitting journalism. So the official caption released by the photography agency took this picture as U.S. First Lady Michelle Obama touches the nose of U.S. President Barack Obama before he welcomes Singapore Prime Minister Lee Sing Lung at the White House on August 2nd, 2016 in Washington, D.C. But really, it's about so much more than that, isn't it? A testament to their bond, perhaps couple goals. And also a reminder that even the president sometimes gets a weird piece on his weird piece of fluff on his nose too yeah we all know what kind of fluff you guys have on your fucking nose so hopefully you can have your own personal linebacker take it off for you but that's exactly the kind of shit that we can see coming it doesn't shock me probably shouldn't shock you guys as well and that's why alternative news sources mean so much going forward and who knows what's actually going to happen, because I think everybody's been reported on something fucking goofy that might happen by the end of the week, but I'm not going to speculate on that kind of stuff. All I'm saying is uh, get your own shit in order. That's something I've been talking about for a long time anyway, so we'll see what happens, and hey, worst case scenario, you can always catch me on Rumble. Anyways, guys, I thank you all very much for the gift of your time. I've been Don Consuelo. I want you to follow your gut and get after it. Take care, everyone.